Well, not a whole lot of action for our weather warrior to track down over the last week. That's right. So instead, he goes back in time tonight to show us how he got started. Here's News 3's Tony Laubach with tonight's Weather Warrior. Greetings. I am the weather warrior Tony Lawback coming to you a little closer to home up here on the northern border of Illinois and that other state. The death ridge of June continued its reign across the country, keeping any chasing non-existent this past week. But that downtime may soon be coming to an end and I'll be putting to good use my longest running superstition to try and end this season on a much higher note. Uh, the number 81 is actually um, the number of my childhood idol, um, Art Monk, who was a wide receiver for the Washington Redskins when I was growing up. The jersey actually I wore at a conference in 2004. I knew the Weather Channel was going to be at this particular conference. I wore it because I thought I'd stand out and I could actually see myself on TV. But we ended up ditching that conference to go storm chasing in Oklahoma and saw three tornadoes that day. And then the chases after that, I ended up seeing uh, multiple tornadoes. I'm seeing seven on May 12th and then 15 on May 29th that year. And basically been wearing the jersey ever since. Good luck, jersey. I actually got to meet Art Monk when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and got a chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one and actually tell him that I wear his number storm chasing. And uh, he looked at me like I was crazy and, and rightfully so, but it was kind of cool to be able to come full circle and, and, and meet my idol and, and, and do that. The jersey kind of got retired um, after I did the Discovery Channel. Um, they had some issues uh, with it on the show. This can kind of induce some luck a little bit. One, two, three. <laughs> Ended up going to just putting the number on t-shirts and pretty much has been uh, what I've been doing ever since. The number 81 has probably been worn for well over 400 chases, um, obviously now we're going 13 years. Without a question is my biggest of all my, my good luck charms, I guess. I'll never stop wearing it as long as I'm chasing. And I will be wearing it again this upcoming week as a change in the upper air pattern is bringing a potent storm system into the Midwest with all eyes on what could be the biggest severe weather day east of the Mississippi so far this season maxes out in this blue and this area right in here is, is literally off the charts. It is very rare when the Storm Prediction Center issues a moderate risk before the actual day, signaling that the potential for this to be a significant event are pretty high. See, for me, these are the types of days that keep me chasing, not knowing what I'm going to wake up to in the morning or what I'm going to see by the end of the day. And while all the models do show incredible potential, there is absolutely nothing certain about what will happen, and I certainly won't know what will happen until after it does. But definitely tune into next week's segment to see how this day unfolds for me, as this might be the last hurrah for me this 2016 season. For News 3, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback, the Weather Warrior.